Welcome back to another mini episode of Annie Makes Art School. Today's daily definition is for the term Dada, which I'm really excited to talk about because it seems particularly relevant given the bizarre climate that we're all currently living in. Dada was a movement of art that came about during the First World War as a response to the tragedy and folly of war itself, as well as a lot of complex social factors that these artists were processing. At that time in Europe, things felt like they were kind of coming unraveled. Not only was the war ravaging life for everybody, but on top of that, there was the boom of big media, there was the, this breakthrough of understanding. Geniuses like Einstein and Freud made people call into question the world around them, as well as their understanding of their own minds. Things felt like they were falling apart in a very strange way that made it hard for people to understand where they fit into society. And as a response, these Dada artists leaned into the absurdity of the times and called into question the value of art itself, of understandings of beauty and relevance. Really, nothing was off limits to them. They tended to have this mentality that people had been dehumanized to the point where they were really just a cog within a giant machine that they had little to no control over. So a lot of Dada art involved symbolism, including cogs, buttons, levers, things like that to reference that point. But the art really had no boundaries. It went from sculptural to two-dimensional, photography, poetry, music. Um, because it was such an absurdist and expansive movement, there really was no limitation to what they would dive into. A great example of a Dada piece is this work by Marcel Duchamp, where he took a postcard of the Mona Lisa, which is generally accepted to be a beautiful work of art and a representation of beauty, femininity, grace, etc. And he drew a mustache on it and then added an inscription that roughly translates to she has hot pants or there's heat down there. <laughs> so obviously he is being extremely irreverent. He's calling into question the idea that art is this untouchable thing or that there's such a thing as a masterpiece that can't be questioned or mocked in any way. He's calling into question issues of femininity and identity. Um, and it just gives you a sense of kind of what that Dada movement was looking to do, which was question everything, mock everything, lean into the unraveling of society. This is a really fascinating movement to take a look at. I cannot recommend it enough. I find Dada work particularly fascinating. And it seems pretty relevant today given the fact that we exist in a world that similarly feels like it's in massive transition. There are these big booms in technology and advancements, there is devastating war happening around the world, and as a result, I don't know about you guys, but I often share that Dada feeling of what is even going on? What is the relevance of any of it? How do we fit into this as people and as artists? So I would love to know what you think of the Dada movement, if these are concepts that appeal to you that you feel like you might incorporate into your own work, if there are artists practicing today that you think qualify as Dada artists in a way, it just seemed like something worth talking about.